We go again, and I think I'm with all of Central Florida saying right now, enough already with the rain. I yes, know. especially in Marion County, Cam. Yeah, Marion County has been hit very hard in particular. They're under a flood watch through tomorrow night because some areas in Marion County have picked up over half a foot of rain, and unfortunately, look at this, more rain on the way. We have a line of thunderstorms coming in off the Gulf of Mexico that is producing some very strong thunderstorms in far western Marion County, stretching from Citra, Anthony, down to Denellen. Denellen is getting been hit very hard right now. We're seeing rain rates of an inch and a half an hour with this line or even greater uh, that's pushing through western Marion County and also a few showers over in Salt Springs. So folks in Marion County are going to be in for some very heavy rain tonight and then all of us dealing with rain tomorrow morning and in the afternoon. I'll show you the future cast in a second. Temperatures right now, low 70s for most of us, upper 70s in Melbourne and Palm Bay, though, where we did see nearly as much rain in those neighborhoods. As you wake up tomorrow morning, it's going to be a warm and muggy start with storms up to the north. And by 9 o'clock, watching the radar once again, especially with Kellyanne Class, stick with her tomorrow morning. She'll be tracking out the storms with you. Starting off warm and muggy tomorrow morning, and then as we go into the afternoon, temperatures will climb into the upper 80s to low 90s. We are tracking more storms coming in tomorrow morning. You see around 7 to 8 o'clock during the hot part of that morning drive. Another batch of showers and storms moving through as we go into the afternoon. Another batch of showers and thunderstorms will develop around 2 3 o'clock and that will continue through the evening drive. I think this particular future cast model is underdoing the rain coverage tomorrow. I do think we are going to see some higher coverage than what that is indicating. That high rain coverage lingers into the weekend. A 70% chance of rain on Saturday, a 60% chance on Sunday. Both weekend days, high temperatures climbing into the low 90s. It will be hot and humid and especially when you factor in those higher dew points, it's going to feel like the low triple digits out. Latest on tropical storm Brett. This is just a few miles east of the island of St. Vincent. This is moving west at 18 miles per hour. A Hurricane Hunter plane is actually in the storm right now investigating it and it found that winds were actually weakened a bit down to 60 miles per hour. It is moving to the west. It is expected to enter the Caribbean by tomorrow morning and then watch as it moves west. It does gradually weaken and then by the time we get into Saturday night, it's going to eventually fall apart as it interacts with quite a bit of wind shear. Now we also have a new tropical storm that just developed with the 11 o'clock advisory. What was TD4 is now Tropical Storm Cindy with winds of 40 miles per hour. It got better organized in the last couple hours there. You see that burst of convection at the end of that satellite loop. It is moving west-northwest at 14 miles per hour. It will continue to gradually strengthen as it moves west-northwest, barely skirting the leeward islands there. And then as it moves into the western Atlantic, it is expected to weaken thanks to a trough that will be coming in off to the west. It's going to bring some increasing wind shear. And neither of these systems have impacts here at home to Central Florida, so that's good news. But we are looking at a stormy setup, though, all the way through the weekend. Highs in the low 90s. Early next week, some slightly drier air starts to work its way in, and that will bring in uh, some lower rain chances, but high temperatures climbing into the mid-90s.